that's the cat. If you're wondering. <laughs> my third little box and this one is my little cozy box this box is pretty much created for me like it's just me in a box I love it I love cozy things I love it I'll get straight into showing you what is inside this little beauty open it up and as always there's a little card in there with the ribbon and this little card says my favorite pastime is to let go but let time go by to have time to take my time to waste time to live out of time I love all these little cards I am gonna get around to when I move. I'm going to put them all in little frames and have them all up in my room. They're just really, really sweet little cards. And the next thing in the little box is their little magazine. I really like this little magazine. There's recipes in this magazine and there's makeup looks, question and answer, little page, nail art. It's just such a nice little magazine. If this was like genuinely a proper big magazine, I think it would do really well. I would definitely buy it anyway, that's for sure. Her jumper is very similar to my jumper and I don't quite know why that makes me feel as happy as it does. And it does. Mm. On to the actual goodies of the box. And the first thing is this little package here and it says all you need is coffee. And inside here is literally the most adorable little mug. How cute is this? Um, and on the other side it says, how is your day going to be? And then, happy! It's going to be happy! Not quite sure what I'm actually going to use this mug for. Probably too small to actually drink from. I don't drink coffee anymore, so I'm not even going to have like an espresso. Like people drink espressos, don't they? Like little coffees. I might just sit it on my dressing table and let it look really cute because it's adorable. Literally adorable. To show you how small it is, I have literally a pea head. And I have my tea. Oh, we're throwing things. This is the cup I've just had my tea in. This is this cup. Look at the difference. It's so cute. So yes, world's smallest coffee mug. This little cutie, which is a wheat bag. Well, that's what I call them anyway. I don't know what anyone else calls them. A bean bag, a wheat bag. Basically, you put them in the microwave and they heat up and they're really nice to like hold in your hands, I put them on my back sometimes when I get a boy back or when it's that time of month, put it on your belly. Just really, really comforting and lovely to have these and I actually quite like the smell of these as well. Mm. I just find it a really comforting smell. I have loads of wheat bags so this is a really cute addition. I'm really tempted, this one will probably end up going to work with me because um, it's just the perfect size just to pop in your little bag and take it away with you and just heat it up and hold it in your hand if it gets really cold. Maybe I'll heat it up before I leave for work and I leave from work and then I can use it in the car and on the bus. I'm a genius. Next is the little makeup treasures of the box and they come in the normal um, My Little Box little bag. This is one with the bows on and the first thing I pull out is a mascara which is by their own brand so My Little Beauty. This is a volumizing mascara. I haven't tried it yet but the brush it actually looks quite nice. The brush isn't too big. I sometimes really struggle with mascaras with um, big brushes. With having smaller eyes, it just tends to make a bit of a mess. But I'm really looking forward to trying this. I'm a big mascara hoarder. I love to try new mascaras. So whenever I get a mascara in the beauty box, it makes me quite happy. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is like and what wonders it does to my eyelashes. Next is, it's like like a dip, <laughs> next is Starliner, it's an eyeliner, it's a waterproof eyeliner, it actually looks really really nice, ooh it's very very creamy, I'm not a massive eyeliner fan but I found using um, a darker eyeliner or like a brown or a black eyeliner on my tight line makes my lashes look a lot thicker and fuller. Um, and it just makes such a difference to the final like makeup look on your eyes. And with it going on your tight line, waterproof is a pretty good idea. My eyes tend to stream a little bit when I put eyeliner on. So yeah, and with it being so creamy, I'm really excited to try this. And then last but not least is a really cute little Essie polish. This is in the colour Cute as a Button. Not really an autumn colour for me. I tend to wear like corals and pinks in spring and summer, but it's a really nice colour and I absolutely love Essie nail polish. They're literally probably my favourite nail polish brand ever. So 
very excited at the fact that I've got one of these. And it's such a cute little pot. I love that. My favourite thing about SD polishes is their brushes because they're like wide band brushes. They're so much easier to paint your nails with. You literally do like two strokes and your whole nail is painted. That is everything that's in my little box for November. Everything is absolutely adorable as always and I love it. So yeah. I'll leave the link to the website down below so if you do want to go and subscribe for it you can. I highly recommend it um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Chris, can you let the cat out? Thanks.